Um, hello, everyone. I'm about to be on online prosperity show. Um, Dr. Agatha Rokiki. Uh, I'm a social entrepreneur, founder of Social Entrepreneurship Research Institute, an NGO, Helping Hand Foundation, an art advisory and investment company, the World of Art Gallery. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. I'm your host, Prosper Taravinga, and today we have a remarkable guest who's changing the world through social entrepreneurship and research. Dr. Agatha, how are you doing today? I'm wonderful. Thank you for having me, Prosper. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. You know what? I should have actually said, yeah, Shamash. I'm, I'm very well. Bardzo dobrze. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Um, as you will notice, um, you know, my dear viewers, uh, Dr. Agatha has Polish origins and she is doing her social enterprising in America there. And she's the founder and CEO of the Social Entrepreneurship Research Institute and NGO that is called Helping Hand Foundation and also the World of Art and Gallery amongst many other roles. Now, Dr. Agatha, could you maybe start by telling our viewers who you are and what it is that you do in the realm of social entrepreneurship? Uh, sure. I am a founder and a CEO of Social Entrepreneurship Research Institute where we focus mostly on research in the area of social entrepreneurship, innovation, sustainability, change, and impact. Absolutely. And maybe let us know, how did you get involved um, in this space as it is very all-encompassing? Uh, yeah, well, I received my or earned my doctorate degree in one of the uh, leading business schools in Switzerland, SS. SPM Geneva, and I was really looking forward for a um, successful partnership with the school. I designed a social entrepreneurship program. However, uh, it did not come to fruition uh, because the school didn't have the funds. And that was like a roadblock for me at that time. And I thought to myself, I was working on this for quite some time. And this is an amazing idea. A lot of leading and uh, uh, leading schools have that program. Uh, and it's quite fascinating field that people are getting more involved into nowadays. It's only about 40, 50 years old. Uh, so I thought to myself, well, I'm not going to give up on this idea. And I decided to found my own institute. Fantastic. And um, obviously, there's a lot that is involved. But right now, it is quite impressive that you have an array of uh, roles that you are, um, you know, that are under your belt from mentoring to leading NGOs. And you also have the art advisory uh, companies. Can you maybe share how you actually, first of all, manage all of these responsibilities and what it is that they are actually doing for the communities? Yes, I like to be very busy, as you can say, as you can see. Um, I excel at time management and I love to work with other people. I love to collaborate and network with others. And uh, uh, one of the first companies that I had was an NGO, Helping Hand Foundation, which is purely nonprofit. It's also one of the social entrepreneurship organizations as social entrepreneurship not only consists of NGOs, but also social purpose businesses and hybrids that combine um, economic and social mission, where the social mission is actually the leading one. And uh, so um, having non-for-profit and trying to help other people um, in different realms, uh, including uh, volunteerism and uh, pro bono work uh, through arts and culture, education and social or health work. Uh, then I decided uh, to have art advisory and investment company so that the money from this company could also be contributed to an NGO uh, to uh, impact um, greater public and greater audience and reach greater audience. Uh, so that's uh, where I uh, became a serial social entrepreneur and st started opening and uh, 
collaborating with other people and started uh, funding other companies uh, just to complement the NGO. And uh, so from art advisor and investment company, what we do is uh, we mostly work with artists and art connoisseurs. We do social management for the artists. Uh, we also have a uh, lease option for our, our clients. We have a uh, referral program and also amazing art pieces where you can uh, acquire or lease. Absolutely. That's interesting. I also see that you're offering free space consultation for your clients. Now, could you maybe explain to us how does this maybe tie into your overall mission as a social entrepreneur? Right. Uh, the, it's a free in-depth consultation for our clients, not only when it comes to acquiring proper art pieces, but also for interior designing and uh, decorating, as we do work with interior designers and architects. And um, so that actually brings awareness to what we offer, what the company offers, and um it can reach greater audience where we can be recommended. And that's how we can uh, create more impact, social impact. Absolutely. You also mentioned that with the artists that you're working with, um, I'm actually quite intrigued by your lease option uh, on selected art pieces. Could you maybe walk us through what that entails and how this concept actually works and the impact it has on the artists and maybe um you know the general populace as a whole yes well at least option is very flexible it's either one uh, month to month or one year or three years or five years depending on what our clients need and like we like to assist all of them in fulfilling their own needs and uh, desires um it brings uh, awareness to art culture and um, also it helps our artists uh, produce more art as people become more interested. And uh, as we can uh, see, art uh, pieces are quite expensive. So the lease option is more flexible for the general public. Absolutely. Where they can enjoy it at their own homes or offices. I can imagine. So just in case I knew you would be maybe visiting us, even if it's virtually, I could have leased a very nice um, art piece behind me and made my event look, you know, very well decorated. And, um, you know, when the guests go, they wouldn't know the difference. And I think that's such a good, um, um, you know, setup. It makes spaces look different and it actually brightens the mood in, 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 in a lot more places. Now, you also have a referral program within the work that you're yes. doing and i think that sounds a little bit interesting could you maybe elaborate on how this benefits your clients and some of the ventures that you're working on yeah we do have a referral program for every client that is being referred to us we give them a gift card ranging between 50 dollars to 500 dollars it all depends on what clients are being recommended to us and the clients that have previously worked with us what they have purchased, acquired, or released. Absolutely. I'm I'm still intrigued by how busy you are. And you are, um, are you still pursuing the D, uh, DBA or is that already done? It's already done in December of 2022. Yes. Well, I'm working right now on three simultaneous research projects in the area of social entrepreneurship when it comes to me. And uh, it's in ethics, it, it involves ethics and uh, definition of social entrepreneurship, because we don't have a uniform one. So there is a confusion, a lot of confusion going on, and people misunderstand the concept of social entrepreneurship itself. And one more is in theory, strictly theories. Fantastic. And you've actually um, founded your own social entrepreneurship research institute, which I think is your home base right now. Could you just maybe share with us what the mission is um, for this institute and what sort of goals are you pursuing um, with this endeavor? Yes, it's a quite fascinating phenomenon. It's only 40 to 50 years old. And uh, there's still a lot of confusion going on when it comes to social entrepreneurship uh, and its classification. 
as I've mentioned before, it's not only nonprofits, but also social purpose businesses and hybrids. People misunderstand the concept of hybrid organizations where the, where the company combines social and economic missions at the same time. Um, therefore, the reason for funding this institute was to bring more awareness and clarity to the concept of social entrepreneurship itself and what it does in society. Absolutely. There's a lot of stuff that's going on behind the scenes there, and it's um, intriguing and interesting. But with a lot of stuff happening, that means a lot of ideas are being created. I I also understand you're working on a few patent um, ideas. Uh, could you maybe provide us a, a sneak peek on some of these uh, innovative concepts that you're working on? Sure. I, I've been collaborating for um, the past couple of weeks with a few individuals, and we're just brainstorming ideas. Patent ideas are quite interesting, uh, um, some of them in medical field, medical technology, some of them health and fitness, and even um, animal care. Uh, so as I cannot provide too much information right now, just uh, just keep us in mind and wish us luck. And hopefully that's going to be uh, uh, a successful endeavor. Absolutely. And if people want to get a hold of what it is that you're working on, especially those, are, those that are in the investor sort of capacity, um, what would be the best way to get in touch with you? Well, the best way to get in touch with me would be to uh, contact me uh, via email. It's contact at serinstitute.info. Absolutely. See, so many people can't even get out of bed, uh, Dr. Agatha, every single morning. They can't be, uh, they can't even maybe uh, look after just one job or maybe look after one endeavor in their lives and uh, they need a break or they need a holiday if they extend themselves for more than two hours doing the same thing, but looking at what you're doing and all the tasks and things that you are working on simultaneously, what actually drives your ambition and all this um, enthusiasm for your work? I've always had passion and purpose in my life. And uh, I guess this is just my nature. Um, I, I've done things with a greater and higher purpose. It's never about economic mission. It's always about the social mission. Of course, there has to be an economic mission to sustain and support the social mission. Uh, and I've always been working uh, since, uh, since I can remember with people that are just like-minded, uh, just like me. Uh, they have a passion and purpose. They're entrepreneurs, social entrepreneurs, CEOs, executives, uh, leaders, and um, they have ethical beliefs and values, and they bring, uh, they support uh, positive uh, culture, and um, that's that's what I'm all about. And uh, I like to keep myself busy because I know that the work I do brings more awareness and uh, brings uh, social change. Absolutely. So that 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 gives me uh, a drive uh, to work much harder and better and excel at the things I do. Absolutely, and I mean, obviously, proof is in the pudding. You have gotten, uh, you know, the in institute up and running. And um, one one more thing is, you have all these multiple domains that you are working from, and that comprises your journey and things of that nature i mean you've done project management and art curation and um you know all, all of these fascinating endeavors now how do you maybe weave visionary concepts with actual tangible realities that people can actually walk away with a complete and finished project uh the vision is tied to goals uh, achievable goals smart goals you have to keep that in mind. Those, those small steps will lead you to your final vision. That's how you can accomplish anything that you want. It's about the mindset. With the proper mindset, you can do anything you want. 
So Absolutely. that's what I believe in. And personal development. That's essential. I, I, I concur with that because wherever you are, there you are. And if you have, you know, um, got the confidence in yourself, you can tackle just about anything else that comes your way. Now, just for the interest of our audience there, you've overseen the rise of various organizations um, you know, in your journey there. Could you maybe share with us a success story? You don't necessarily have to name names or specific details that actually showcases the transformative change that you can achieve for people if they work with you. Um, since the time I established Social Entrepreneurship Research Institute, um, I've worked with a lot of interesting individuals and usually I get connected on LinkedIn with professionals and I've been asked to mentor, coach and consult for uh, individual clients and companies. And it, it brings me an amazing joy where I can see that uh, the lives of the people I work for are being transformed. Recently, I've been contacted um, uh, by an by a girl from Kenya and she really wanted me to be her mentor and for her girls she runs Soraya Foundation where uh, she helps uh, young um, mothers uh, in uh, trying to cope with the new stage in their lives so it was uh, amazing to see that uh, women are actually looking for other women role models and how they can actually help them empower them and make their lives uh, easier and better. Fantastic. Now, as we wrap up, obviously, you did mention you had, um, you know, Polish background and you migrated to America. Now, if you would yes. be given an opportunity, just like you are having for these um, women in Kenya, that you have somebody of your caliber visit you at a time when you were in Poland, what sort of advice would you give to young Agatha? Um, pursue your dreams. Never give up. There is so much good in the world and there is a possibility to um, uh, meet a lot of amazing individuals and uh, just be brave and... Um, try to uh, uh, collaborate with the right individuals, with the right people, and uh, the things you want to pursue and accomplish will happen. Absolutely. I think those are fantastic words of advice. Well, I can't thank you enough, Dr. Rokiki, for your time uh, on the show today. Thank you so much um, for gracing thank us you. with your presence and your insightful and inspiring conversation that we just had. Thank you so much, Prosper. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. I mean, your dedication to social entrepreneurship, innovation and research is truly commendable. And for those that are uh, watching right now, if you want to connect with uh, Dr. Agatha and explore her ventures, just make sure you check out the show notes. Uh, for all the relevant information that I'm going to be putting in there. All right. And if you've been watching with us right now, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of the Online Prosperity Show, where we continue to bring you stories of individuals who are making a positive impact in the world. Until next time, stay inspired and prosperous. Bye for now.